Hello and welcome back to AP Computer Science. This is going to be um, the second part of a series of going over the 2015 free response. Today we'll be doing question two, and it's going to be a little guessing game uh, based off of a given uh, word. So basically how this is going to work is that um, our class is supposed to take in to its constructor a string, and we're going to have to implement this get hints function, and we're going to, uh, which takes a string, and then we're going to return um, something that indicates uh, how good our guess is. So the way that output works is that we're going to output the matching letter uh, if it's in the correct spot. We're going to output a plus sign if it's if the character is in the word but at a different position. Then we're going to uh, put a star in if it's um, not in the word at all. So it's pretty straightforward, I think. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a constructor. So we're going to do public uh, hidden word. That's just how you make a constructor. And remember, you needed to take in a string. So uh, we need a place to store this string. So we're going to go ahead and make a private variable. Uh, we're going to call that uh, solution, maybe. And we're going to go ahead and set solution equal to that input string. Okay, so now what we need to do is implement that get hints uh, function, or method rather. And that takes in a string as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call that guess. And that's going to return a string. Okay. So uh, the first thing we could do is, the, f the first thing you should do is check to see if the guess is the same length as the solution. Uh, but in the instructions, it says that we can assume that the length of the guess is the same as the length of the solution. So we don't need to worry about that. So uh, what we're going to do, and what seems to be the most uh, straightforward way of doing this problem, is we're going to go ahead and make a string, and we're going to go ahead and build it up character by character uh, in a for loop um, to get our output. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it output, and we're going to return it at the very end, but inside here. We're going to have a bunch of code to um, to build this string up. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a for loop. We're going to start from i0 to the length of the string. And we're going to increment it by 1 each time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check if um, we're going to check if the character at i in the guess is the same as that of the solution. Okay, And if it is, then we simply concatenate on to output that character. Okay. Now we also have to check um, to see if that character is in the string at all. Uh, if it's not the case that it's a matching, right? So we need to check if solution dot uh, index of that's going to let us know if something is in the string. Um, if the index is greater than or equal to zero, that means it's in the string, right? We need to check if the index of um, our guess car at i. So that's the character. We need to check if the character at index i is in the string at an index greater than zero. And if it is, we're simply going to concatenate on to output. Uh, we're going to concatenate on, I believe they wanted a plus sign there. And if it's not the case, then we simply want to concatenate on a star. And once we run through that for loop, it should build our string, and it'll return output. So in our driver here, I initialized hidden world uh, as A, B, C, D, E. And then I have a few simple examples, all A's, A, D, C, D, E, and A, B, C, D, E. So if we run it, uh, we should see our output is correct there. Yep, because uh, A is right, and the plus signs indicate that A is in fact in the string. Okay, now let's say we change this to Q. Now what happens, that should change to a star. So 
looks pretty good. That's our solution for uh, question two.